What's going on guys, it's Nathan Bloomberg here. And today I'm gonna to be giving you three things that have helped me along my creative journey. I believe these three tips can help any creative in any niche. I could really go as far as to say that these three tips can help anybody in any business venture. The reason I'm making this video today is there's been a lot of questions asking me how I got to the point where I'm at today. And hopefully these three tips can help you get to where you wanna be as well. The first tip I have, and I honestly think it might be the most important one, is networking. I made networking really hard in the beginning of my career, and so hopefully you can take what I've learned and not do that. Networking is one of the most neglected tools that I believe everybody has. In the creative world, a lot of people think that networking is just giving somebody a follow and asking them how they got their job. In my opinion, there's much more to it. You have to really work on building relationships with strangers. A lot of people might struggle with that, including myself, and you really don't have to overthink it either. Just go strike up a conversation on Instagram or any other social media platform with any of your local creatives. Nine times out of 10, they're wanting to do the same thing with you. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy or complex, just really get to know each other, get to know the creatives in your area, pick each other's brains about stuff that you wanna learn. Networking, in my opinion, is also a mutual beneficial relationship. A lot of the people that I've networked with at the start of my creative career, I'm still in contact with today. And they've also given me opportunities, even if stuff didn't come up right away. And I have tried to push them opportunities as well. In getting my first career position as an MLB LCC, Networking was one of the keys to getting that, if not the biggest key. I started shooting local baseball, not really getting to know anybody in my little small town. When I couldn't connect or build relationships with local photographers and videographers, just because there wasn't that many sports videographers, I took it to the next level. I DM'd every MLB LCC there was, and a lot of them can vouch for me when they're watching this video. I never really asked how they got the job as an MLB LCC, I really just tried to get to know them, build genuine relationships, so that maybe in the future it could blossom into something further. I think I legitimately DM'd almost every MLB LCC there was. I built the genuine connections with them all, and when the time came around, people even put recommendations in for me because of just the genuine relationship we had and still have. And that is why tip number one, networking. I believe you can get anywhere you want if you network the right way. Tip number two, mastering the basics. As cliche as that sounds, mastering the basics is really important. For me, as a sports videographer, the basics that I really try to master are manual focus. I'm still trying to get better at that. Still miss tons of shots. And I also just try to make sure that my image is exposed properly. I know a lot of other videographers as well talk about the rule of thirds. You can never really go wrong with mastering the basics. If I was hiring for a shoot, I would take the guy who can shoot well, knows all the basics, but doesn't have any special fancy effects, rather than taking the guy who has all the effects in the world, but can't really shoot. So if you can master the basics and then go and try and learn all the effects, that's gonna make you a much more versatile shooter. And then tip number three is never stop working. In my opinion, no matter how good I get, no matter how far along in the creative journey I am, I'm never gonna be good enough to take a break and stop working at my craft. Always be willing to grind and go the extra mile. If you can continuously work and pay your dues, even when you're at the lowest of lows in your career, I believe that you can go anywhere you want. Almost three years ago, I was still in my hometown, dreaming of being a freelance creative. I was working as a cashier at a bagel shop. I was doing this random doggy daycare thing at the same time, as well as picking up pool boy shifts at a resort, all simultaneously while having this dream of being a freelance videographer. And now, fast forward, I believe those tips have helped me to get to where I'm at today, being a videographer in the NFL. NFL, NHL, and MLB. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope that each and every one of you got at least something out of this video. That's the whole purpose and goal of this channel. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I really just want to give back and really just show how I got to where I'm at today. And hopefully some tips along my journey can help you guys get to where you want to be as well. I really appreciate all the love and support recently on all social media platforms. And if you haven't already, I think about 88% of you guys aren't subscribed. And so I would really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed. And until next time, guys, peace.